Hello everyone, I'm Hoodie Angel Brandon and welcome back to another Genshin Impact Wishing Session. Today we are here in Natlan uh, to do some last minute uh, polls. We have the banner for Miss Shilonen, who ended up being a way cooler character than I expected. Uh, I liked her a lot in the Archon Quest and also in her own story. Um, and I also like her voice acting. Her design isn't my favorite. I do think it's a little odd for a blacksmith, <laughs> but um, overall, she's pretty cool, and she is also a very solid support. So since I have all these wishes kind of sitting here without any super concrete plans on who to use them for, I thought we would spend a little on her and try and grab her and... Uh, see what we can conjure up um so yeah unfortunately a lot of the characters i've liked over the last few years have not had much support capability so finding another character that i like who does have that support utility makes me feel like i should uh grab her now while i've got the chance you know but uh, it did take a little bit to fully decide that i wanted to go for her that's why there's only a day and one hour left on the banner but we're gonna try and get her, and uh, yeah, this banner is not incredible for me. It's got uh, Sweet Kale, uh, who I do use occasionally for my Virgin team, although she's not like the most important uh, unit for me to get constellations on. Candice I also don't really use very much. Uh, but she is cool, so I wouldn't mind getting the cons for her so that eventually if I want to do silly C6 Candice shenanigans, then I have the option. And then we got Dory, who is certainly a character in the game of Genshin Impact. I wish she wasn't. <laughs> so, yeah, overall this banner, not particularly great for me. But outside of putting, like, Gaming here... There wasn't a whole lot they could do in that regard, so... Uh... Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, Michelonen, uh, a Geo who has some pretty solid support capabilities, uh, has caught my interest, so we're gonna, we're gonna drop some wishes and see what we can get, so... Uh, without any more rambling, let's just go ahead and jump in. Uh, drop our first ten full. So, yeah, uh, hopefully uh, we can rally luck, rally luck, and uh, get get her without spending too much, because again, I don't really want the four stars on this banner that much. Uh, they wouldn't be like, well, two of them wouldn't be atrocious, but they, they certainly aren't the most enticing aspect this time around. Sometimes I'm more excited for the four stars, but this time not really... So, um, oh, yep, yeah, there, there we go. Uh, thank you, Crunched, for the Rally Luck. I was going to uh, find it myself and play it. Uh, yes, Rally Luck, Rally Luck. And hopefully we can bring home Michelone. Oh! I didn't even notice that there was a, a gold uh, when we did the poll. So, uh, we didn't get Michelone, but we got an early Gene Constellation. So that's okay. <laughs> Not who I would have liked to get as my... Uh, off focus, but we'll take her. Oh, and there's a Candace. Yeah, of the three, I think I'm the most interested in Candace as far as the four stars on this banner goes. Um, just because we could get her to C6 and do funny things. She is a pretty cool character. Uh, not that she got a ton of screen, screen time during the Archon quest, but we did just have the Nahida event and she got some screen time. And it was cool to see her uh, have a little bit more focus. Uh, so, wouldn't mind getting more copies of her if we're gonna... If we're gonna get this... Her and Kale are who I want to see. And I think the Candace cons are probably slightly more valuable than the Kale ones. Kale still works fine at, like, C1 or whatever I have her at, so... I don't necessarily need the Candace cons. So, that's not what I would have liked. It would have been crazy to get Shilonen on the very first 10 pull, but uh, getting 
Jean here just means that we can easily afford to get Shilonen without breaking the bank, so let's go. Let's grab her. <laughs> let's bring her home. The little diamond on the cheekbone of my PNG tuber Halloween model is a nice touch, especially since it was in your book fanfic you wrote. Yeah, uh, it was an interesting coincidence. Uh, I, I was already kind of thinking about doing that before you did your book because mine is a blue diamond, uh, which represents the the uh, the star Sirius, uh, which is a blue star, which in turn represents Professor Byleth and Sothis. So that's why I did with blue diamond. <laughs> All right. Um, sacrificial fragments, kind of whatever. But yeah, uh, Shalonen in her story quest especially was really oh another Candace. All right, there we go. Uh, yeah, Shalonen in her story quest was really cool. I wasn't too in excited about her when we got the Notlon trailer, but I mean, like, all the Notlon designs I feel like are kind of messy. They're they're definitely not my favorite designed cast of characters, but character-wise, like, in terms of writing and characterization, most of them have ended up being really cool, actually. Uh, which is to say, all of them except a how. Boy, I wish we had a mute button for him. <laughs> but the rest of the Notlon characters have been really interesting. Um, and Shalonen, uh, alongside Mawika, are probably my two favorites of the group. So uh, I decided I'd, I'd drop some here since she, she has that support utility. Uh, she has a cool character. I like her voice acting. Again, the design is kind of eh, but all the Notlon characters are kind of weird. Like, nothing about her design reads Blacksmith to me, so I don't know. Like, DJ Cat is already, like, that's what her design is, but then she's also got roller skating, but then she's also a Blacksmith, but nothing in her design says Blacksmith, which is the confusing thing to me. I don't think that a character's design needs to be fully focused on, like, what their profession is or anything, but I think it would have been cool to have something in there that kind of referenced that more, where it was a little more immediately obvious. Oh, and there is Kale. Let's go. Also, I've already forgotten our poll number because I am just incapable of keeping track of things like that. Oh, hold up. We got a Candace and a Kale in the same ten poll. That's not bad. Cool, cool. Help us generate more star glitter so that I can uh, feel better about dropping these wishes slightly unplanned. All right, there goes my intertwined fates that I had saved up, but we still have plenty of primos, so I'm not too concerned. Candace, leave us alone! No, Candace is good. Candace is good. We want, we want to get Candace. Dory is Dory is the one we don't want to see. <laughs> Sack bow. Um, I as far as weapons go, I really need more Favonia swords. I want to refine Farina's Favonia sword, and I probably want a F Favonia sword to put on Shalonen as well, since I don't really have a weapon for her. I could give her Freedom Sworn, but that's on Kazuha. That's Kazuha's weapon. It belongs to him and no one else. So. I refuse to compromise on this. All right, come on. Um. Ugh. Ugh. I hate it. Thanks. Atrocious. Okay, we got a call to make up for it. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, uh, none of like Linny was my ultimate goal since I started playing Genshin. So once I got him, everyone after that has been kind of a uh, I'll pull if they super interest me. Um, so you know, I I now that I got Linny, I have wishes to just kind of spend on a impulse pull like this and uh, I'm also planning currently I'm because I ended up liking Mawika a lot 
in the Archon quest. She's probably my favorite character there. Uh, so I'm currently planning to go for her. Uh, so I do want to make sure I have gems for her, but she's still a ways out, so I'm not that worried about it. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get at least one copy of her. Won't be able to go for cons, probably, unless we get super lucky, but I'll be able to get the one copy of her. And also, I'm thinking about going for Nahida, finally. I've said it for years that... I've said it since, like, Nahida came out, because I did like her in the story. I said I might pull Nahida when they finally give us another Traveler kit worth using besides Dendro. And... I'm kind of gambling that Pyro Traveler will be decent. <laughs> so, we'll see if that ends up panning out. It might not, but... I think it's finally time that I... I pull for Nahida, so I am I might go for her on that banner. I might even roll that bit video in with this one, since they might both be kind of short. Uh, we'll see, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm basically, at this point, I'm going for su supports for characters I really like. Like, uh, Linny, Gaming, Sino. I'm getting supports for my boys. <laughs> so. And there's another Candace. Very nice. And I think we should be about at our five star. No, next one then, probably. Again, I'm bad at counting, so I don't know how many we've got. What did Dory t do to make me hate her? Uh, racist design, terrible character. Uh, she's basically Genshin's version of Anna from Fire Emblem, which is not something you want to be. <laughs> uh, and also she's on the tiny female model with some... Like, th there's no reason for a, for a, a character that like, in that child female model category to be, like, having an outfit that's, like, there, there's no reason for it. Everything about Dory is just really sleazy, and I, I really dislike her. The, uh, actually worst character in Genshin, in my opinion. Oh, we got Rust. <laughs> we were playing Pajama Sam on stream the other day, and, uh, so I was thinking about the, the quote there. Rust. <laughs> I got rust. <laughs> On I had, but then I got rushed. Rust? Yeah. Rust. See my wheels. Rust. One, my wheels is rusted, so I can't move. <sighs> my wheels is rusted, so I can't move. All right. And I think this one should give us our Shilonen. There she is. Okay. Let's bring her home. There she is. Oh, I'm Shilonen from the Children of Echoes. If you'd like me to forge some tools for you, just uh, let me know. But uh, I do have quite the backlog of commissions at the moment, so even if you submit a request now, it might be a while before I get to it. Let's go. Uh, I d I'm not, like, in love with Natland's character design philosophy, like, in terms of the outfits. Um, but they're, they're like, splash art and, like, the graffiti-inspired designs that you see throughout Natlan look really cool. Um, I like it a lot, and her, her splash art here looks really cool. Um, I do think the, the DJ thing is just kind of weird, <laughs> but... <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe something in her lore that I haven't looked at yet will explain that a bit more, but, um, I really like how supportive she is. She's very kind, uh, which is kind of surprising because looking at her, I thought she would be, like, kind of a grumpy and lazy character, but she does like to relax, but she also works really hard and she'll put herself out to help other people, and I just think she's, like, really sweet and really cool. Um, so I really uh, was surprised at how much I ended up liking her as a character. Um, so I decided to bring her home, and uh, here she is, and I'm happy about it. <laughs> so what else do we have here to end our little batch holes? Oh, and another Candace. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Not bad. So yeah, there we go. Um, that was fairly painless. Uh, real quick, let's take a look. Uh, unfortunately, against my wishes, we got Dory C5, so that's something. <laughs> and then we got Miss Candace C1, C2, C3, C4, and C5. So just one more till Candace becomes, like, usable if I ever get Arlequino and what I want a meme or anything. Um, actually, I don't think it's as big of a meme as I'm pretending it is. I've heard it's actually pretty, pretty solid. Uh, so that'll be cool. Uh, finally a team for Candace. Uh, but I don't have Arlequino right now, so kind of a moot point. We got C2 Gene, which is kind of whatever. And then we also got our Kale Cons. Kind of surprised we didn't get any, like, off-focuses, no Kave or anything. But, uh, yeah, we got all the banner four stars up to C5, so that's kind of nifty, actually. <laughs> I didn't realize that they're all C5. Uh, they match. Uh, who will be the first to reach C6? Find out next time. Maybe. I don't know when we'll find out, but <laughs> we'll find out eventually. But, most importantly, we did get Miss Shilonen. I'm very excited to use her and also very excited to uh, learn more about her from her lore and everything. Uh, I usually don't look that stuff up ahead of time. So uh, it'll be it'll be cool to read all that and uh, get to know her better. Uh, but I'm already really enjoying what I've seen from her story quest and from the Archon quest. So I have high hopes for her and uh, yeah. So that'll do it for this uh, Genshin Wishing Session. It was overall pretty lucky, and uh, I'm pleased with the results. Hi everyone, welcome to part two of this video. Uh, I decided since that last part was a little short that we will roll these uh, two parts together. Uh, this is our Nahida's belated birthday bash. Uh, <laughs> it's been a few days. But we are going to pull for uh, everyone's favorite Radish Archon, Nahida, and uh, bring her home as well. I guess we're just going all in on uh, collecting supports right now. Which is fine, supports are my favorite type of character. I wish they'd release more support characters. Someone like Sethos could have been a, uh, a cool 4-star off-field support, but alas, he was a uh, on-field DPS 4-star again for some reason. But anyway, uh, yeah, I've, I think I mentioned it briefly while we were doing our Shilonen pulls, but uh, I have been saying for a year or so uh, that I would consider pulling Nahida in the future, mostly if we got a, another good kit for Traveler besides Dendro, because Traveler's my go-to Dendro unit. And that hasn't happened, but... Uh, I'm going to take a gamble that since they're holding back Pyro Traveler, that their kit is going to be something actually interesting and worth using. Uh, since they've gone to the the lengths to not have Pyro Traveler as like our our intro to Notlon. Uh, maybe that won't come true and I'll look like a fool, but I'll look like a fool with Nahida as opposed to if I'm correct and I end up wanting to swap to Pyro Traveler, and then I have to wait another s nine months or so for another Nahida rerun. So, I guess I'll look like a fool now instead of later, right? <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to uh, pull for her. We also have a chance of getting some Sethos cons, which would be cool. Uh, of course, I've already got Singcho maxed out. Uh, he's one of my go-tos. He's one of my goats. And, uh, Shinobu, I think I'm still missing like four of her cons or something, so copies of her wouldn't be bad, even though uh, I'd rather get like a Kave or something, but <laughs> we'll take uh, we'll take Shinobu as well. So, uh, the desert. Hi, Carlo Ghost. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, stop giving the Traveler four-star animations. 
Yeah, I agree. Uh, Traveler is five star and deserves to be treated as such. I hope that Pyro Traveler will change this. But if not, I still have Dendro Traveler to fall back on, I guess. And then I can play a Dendro team on both sides because I'll have uh, Aether and Baiju on one side and Nahida on the other. This probably won't matter because Linny's always on one side, but you know, it's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and get started and drop our first ten pull and see what we got. Rally luck, rally luck! Come home, Radish Archon! Alright, so starting off with Emerald Orb, Harbinger of Dawn, Debate Club. Debate Club, my beloved. <laughs> Still the funniest uh, weapon in the game, I think. I will always stand by Debate Club, best weapon. Alright, so we got a Shinobu Khan to start us off. Again, not the uh, the most ideal scenario, but we'll we'll take it. All right, another ten pull. Hello, Jackie. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. And uh, yes, thank you for the luck. Let us uh, let us <laughs> let us pull uh, Nahida, who kind of looks like lettuce. She looks more like radish or, like, Napa cabbage, but she kind of looks like lettuce too, right? <laughs> it fits. Let us bring her home. Dragon's Bane? Ugh. I need Favonia swords. I need Favonia swords for Shilonin and Aether. I mean, I've got one on... I'm, I've got one that I usually run on Aether that I'm letting Shilonin use right now. And by the way, Shilonin has been really fun to use. I'm uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. She's 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 fun. <laughs> I mean, I already used her a little bit uh, during the uh, segments of like her quest line where she was playable, and also during the trial. But you know, it's a little different when you're actually getting to use them in the overworld and everything. And she's been really fun. So I don't regret going for her. Uh, and again, she is also just a really cool character. Hopefully. Uh, Hopefully the wishes we saved when going for her, though, will bring us a quick, or at least decently quick, Nahida. Or a, uh, like a Tanari would be cool, as an off-focus. <laughs> yes, the lettuce. The lettuce. Ooh, Singcho! He doesn't help us, but I love to see him. He's, he's still awesome all these years later. Nahida would be one of your favorite characters from Genshin because you like radishes. Yeah, she looks like a, a big white daikon radish. <laughs> she is just a uh, a daikon radish who has gained sentience. And I, I, I appreciate that for her. <laughs> yeah, Nahida is not my favorite Archon, but um, she does have a cool personality. Um, part of why I held off on pulling for her was stubbornness, because I just wanted a reason to keep using Aether, because Aether is one of the characters that made me want to start playing the game, and they're not... The, the Traveler is unfortunately not very good in most scenarios. Oh, double four star. Cool. Yeah, Traveler is usually not that great, so having an excuse to actually use Aether on Dendro was really cool. And I'd like to, uh... I'd like to still have reasons to use Aether, but... I think it is time that we, uh, at least get Nahida as an option for our account. Bring her home. Alright, uh, oh, so we do have Shinobu maxed out now. I wasn't sure if we did earlier... I wasn't paying attention, but now we for sure have her maxed out. So her and Sing Cho are both giving us Star Glitter, which is not bad. All right. Show us a Sethos. Sethos or a Favonia Sword? Nope, another Sing Cho. <laughs> Again, I like Sing Cho a lot, but he's... Uh, He's mostly just giving us extra wishes now. He's not doing a whole lot else for us. <laughs> Which is, uh, you know, extra wishes are not bad. That's valuable. Those are going in the Mawika funds, but... I would be a little bit more excited with a with something that does give us some actual use. <laughs> so. Sethos is really cool, but I don't really use him because... Again, just four-star on-fielder. Oh, there he is, speaking of. Four-star on Fielder. I have exactly one of those that I currently use, and it's Gaming. Oh! 
Whoa, <laughs> double Sethos. We'll take that. That's cool. That's awesome. Double, double Sethos. Sethos is a very funny character. Um, I'd love. I, I hope we get to see more of him in the future. He got a little bit in the uh, recent event, but he did I would like to see a little bit more from him. Also, we've got our five star. All right, we're looking for Tanari or Nahida. We want we want Dendro either way. We're we're hoping to see some Dendro here. Show us the green. Give me the green. I'm ready to eat my veggies. Bring them home. Show me that broccoli. Nom 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 nom. Oh, Miss Dia. Okay. Well, uh, she would have been my second pick after Tanari, so I'll I'll happily take her. Um, I did get Dia as my free pick from the anniversary, so she is no longer a new character, unfortunately. Um, and with the build that I have her on, I don't think her cons matter that much, but I do think her C1 does help my build. I'm not 100% sure. I need to refresh my memory on that. But either way, Dia is really cool, so I'm happy to see her. Uh, Ms. Dia is always welcome here. Also, she brought us a flute. Yippee. <laughs> Not Nahida. Uh, is Dia good now? Um... Good might be a strong word. I don't think she's... Good. Like, she's not, like, a hyper meta unit or anything, but she does have teams where she is, to my knowledge, actually pretty functional. Like, she's she's maybe not the best choice, but, like, if your other units are busy on the other side of your Abyss team, you can slot in Dia and she actually does function. Um, from what I've heard, she's actually pretty useful for Novelet. Uh, from what I understand, he can use her. Um... I think Mulani can also use her. Yeah, I'm not I'm not 100% sure on what's going on with Dia. Um I have her built as a cope option for Linny team if I need a defensive unit for him and I don't want to give up my uh my ability to run like Kazuha or something. So I could run Linny and Kazuha with Dia and Benny and that would be a uh a team that is technically functional. How good it is in practice is eh, debatable. But that's why I said she's a cope option there. <laughs> but it's okay. I like Dia as a character, so it's fine. She is very cool. Another Singcho. He loves me. He, he, he just keeps showing up. Remember when people were upset when she first came out? Yeah, very disappointing. I'm glad that she's at least finding some niche uses now. Uh, I'm, I'm glad for that. <laughs> She's a very cool character. Okay, um... But yeah, again, I could, I could really use some off-focus Favonia swords. Those would be cool to see. You wanna, you wanna throw a Fav sword my way? Yo! Ah! Coming! Oh! Awesome! That's, that's actually more exciting for me than any of the banner characters, including Nahida. <laughs> Gaming, my boy, is here. Let's go. Oh, I love him. Very happy to get a constellation for him. That is... That's awesome. That's actually better than a Fab Sword. Ah, there's my boy. I like Gaming a lot. Uh... <laughs> however suboptimal it may be, my my current team rotations, my go-to team rotations are Lenny Mono Pyro, Gaming uh, Vape Plunge, and then Sino uh, Quick Bloom. Those are like my three go-to teams nowadays. Uh, so I'm very happy to get a uh, Gaming Con. <laughs> and then like my backup teams, I would say are Wanderer and uh, Ayaka Freeze, but. Cryo's a myth, so that's not really a real team, right? <laughs> yeah, we are officially gaming. <laughs> Alright, have we got something else cool here? A 
another Singcho. <laughs> Jeez, I think I'd have like C6 Singcho off of this banner alone right now. <laughs> That's crazy. How many times have I pulled him? We could have C6 Sethos, but instead it's all Singcho. All the way down. Nothing but Singcho. That's okay, I like him. Yo, Favonia Sword, let's go. All right, so now I can run a Favonia Sword on Aether, Shalonin, and Farina. I'd still like some more refine options for them, but having another fa Fav Sword is great. Up till this point, I've never needed a, uh, <laughs> I've never needed a third one, so I, I just put all my refines on one of them. But now I kind of, kind of wouldn't mind having, uh, some, having like three max refined. It's okay, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. More, uh, more Fav Swords, please. Feed me more Fav Swords. Yeah, again, like, Fab Sword is, like, honestly more helpful for me right now than anything on the banner, besides, like, Nahida herself, but... <laughs> Nahida here is playing hard to get. She's punishing me for years of neglect, but that's okay. We're, we're using this opportunity to get Sethos, just in case I want to use him in the future, right? <laughs> Debat Club. There is Shadow. Slingshot. Alright, we should be close to Pity again, so I think we should see Nahida soonish. <laughs> Thank you, Brisk, for the rally luck. Thank you. Oh, a Sack Sword. Nifty. I still have my Singcho on Sack Sword. <laughs> One day, maybe I'll get him Primordial Jade Cutter or something, but it's fine. Alright, that was a kind of underwhelming batch. I'm okay, we were further away from Pity than I thought. I thought we were like two away, but... Another Singcho. <laughs> You wasted the redeem. No, that's a, that. You didn't waste it. Uh, the luck is the luck is cumulative. It'll it'll show up. <laughs> we'll 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 get it. <laughs> Don't worry. Here it is. Here's Nahida. Catch the birthday girl. Oh, she also sent us a sack bow, which I haven't seen in a while. <laughs> so we'll take that as a throw in. The birthday girl is falling from the sky, catch her! It's not her birthday anymore, but that's okay. Shh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> I've actually been watching you for a long time already. My name's Nahida. I might look like a child, but don't be fooled. I understand this world much better than any grown-up. So, can we trade knowledge? I want to hear all about your travel stories. So, what would you like to know in return? There we go, we have her. Uh, the radish has been acquired. <laughs> Let's go. A tiny thing, punt it? No, no. Be nice to, be nice to her. She's, uh, she's actually pretty cool. She's not my favorite Archon, but she, she's cool. Uh, Nahida and I are cool. We're, we're, we're chill. <laughs> So there we go. Uh, let us let us see real quick. Here's here's Nahida. We got our uh, our radish. But before we check her, let's uh, pop over here. We got Sethos. He's at level seventy right now. But let's see. We've got his uh, C one crit rate increased by fifteen percent on Shadow Piercing Shot. 
Uh, which one's Shadow Piercing Shot? Oh, charge level 2 of his charge attack, I guess. That's Shadow Piercing Shot. Okay. So that's not as good as it looks. Only on his charge attacks that's a increase it looks like. So not as good as it looks, but we'll take it, I guess. Um... 15% Electro bonus on C2. Uh, normal attack upgrade. Okay, so we only got his C3, but that's not bad. I thought we got more copies of Sethos than that, but we got a ton of Singcho instead. We got Ms. Dia, C1. Uh, wait, this one is max HP increased by 20%. Uh, and deals bonus damage based on her max HP when using Molten Inferno and Leonine Bite. Cool. So, uh, mostly, this is mostly useful for my build for the HP increase. The, uh, the extra damage is kind of whatever, but we'll take the HP increase. And we got Gaming C4, uh, which gives him a little bit of energy recharge, uh, restoration, so that's not bad. Uh... Soon, C6, I hope. Trust. <laughs> oh, wait, I... Ooh, yeah, we'll be at C5 because of Lantern Rite, probably. Unless they release some other character I like a ton. I'll probably just grab Gaming, so we'll be at C5. And then we'll just have to get one more for the C6. So that's cool. God, so many characters. <laughs> And then, uh, finally, we have Nahida herself. Uh, so, here she is, uh, the belated birthday girl. That's okay. Uh, still happy to have her. And uh, now we finally have another... Uh, we have another uh, Dendro option that's actually uh, pretty solid. So, uh, that is good to have. Um, again, not my, not my absolute favorite Archon. Uh... I think she I think she slots in uh does she slot in, in the middle? We'll have to see the end of the Natlan Archon quest to see if she places above or below Mawika, but uh I do like her. So anyways, uh thank you guys for watching, uh both for these Nahida summons and also for our Shalonan summons earlier. Uh and best of luck to you guys on your polls, whether they be on uh, Nahida's banner, or Hu Tao's banner, or any of the other upcoming banners. And uh, until next time, this is Hoodie Angel, Brandon, Nahida, and Shilonin signing out. Bye-bye! <laughs>